So when Frankie Valley or Brian Wilson or any of the pop guys who sang in that male falsetto, uh, there, explain that one more time because I'm not quite... Frankie it. Valley said to me that singing a falsetto destroyed his voice because he developed vocal nodules. When you sing a falsetto, your larynx rises. When your larynx rises, the vocal folds lose the muscular stability. And when that happens, they begin touching each other. And over time, you develop calluses. You can develop calluses. And a, a callus on your vocal folds is called a vocal nodule. Right? You probably have heard that. And that's the problem uh, with not only, sing, not only singing a falsetto, but for all, all you singers out there, singing in the wrong key. I mean, singers have an obsession with high notes. Obsession with them. So they sing these notes that are naturally high. And what happens is the larynx is forced up so high. And this is what I deal with a lot, with, even with my famous students. Didn't John Mayer just have not the same thing? Same thing. And Adele did as well, right? So this is relatively common for, for younger people. Yeah. It doesn't have to be young or old. That's right. And here's, here's, here's the funny thing. Based upon the kind of singing that people do, whether it's rock or pop, you have to sing with the larynx rise, raised. You have to, because it's a part of the, uh, of the, uh, the style of the music. The secret is to build your voice in such a way where you don't lose your voice. It's like preparing for playing football. If you're going to play football, you have to exercise in the gym and work out and get yourself in good physical shape. This way, when you're beat up on the, on, on the field, you can recover. Singing is all, oftentimes very, very abusive because if you're taking the voice, you're using it extreme athletically. You're competing with band, electric guitar, bass, drums, you know, whole orchestra. It's very demanding. So you have to be prepared in the way that I was being prepared.